The $16 million Pegasus World Cup, the world's richest race, is just a few days away. And all this week, we will be bringing you any late-breaking developments, uh, news about the contenders, and other information to get you ready for the big event on Saturday at Gulfstream Park. Today's news, Ray, is that Gunrunner, the favorite in this race, uh, put in his final breeze. We both watched the video. What did you see? Well, I saw a finely tuned athlete getting ready for his swan song at what I believe is the absolute top of his game. Uh, the exercise rider Angel Garcia keeping, you know, not fighting him, but just saying not, you know, just like take it easy, big fella. Let's just take it easy. And then finally, he lets him run a little bit at the end of this workout, gallops out really strong. Steve Asmussen and Scott Blasey have done a fantastic job getting this horse to the Pegasus World Cup, I think, in the best condition of his life. He just looks fantastic. He looks so eager to run. Every time I watch him, it looks like he enjoys being a thoroughbred racehorse, and he is so professional. I mean, just look at his resume. 16 out of 18 in the money. I mean, he never doesn't show up. The only bad race he had, really, was fifth place in the Haskell when it was muddy, you know, an exaggerator loved it. Otherwise, ever since... Late in the three-year-old season, the Clark handicap specifically, where they kind of just let him roll from the gate instead of keeping him back. Once you know he gets that natural rhythm, he has been unbelievable since then. Yeah, there were a couple races last year where he was just a little bit off the pace, but pretty much, uh, like you said, since the Clark, he's been a wire-to-wire -wire kind of horse. When he took the lead in the Breeders' Cup Classic, you could tell that Mike Smith and Collected really wanted to get up to the lead, and Florent Giroux, the jockey of Gunrunner, said, nope, I'm not going to let you have it. Gunrunner was very willing. He held him off really the entire way, and that's the way they finished 1-2. Collected could never get there. I think on Saturday we're going to see the same kind of tactics with maybe a little more hell-bent for the lead you know, uh, effort by Mike Smith because I think they've seen this story before. If Gunrunner gets a, a fairly easy lead, game over. Yeah, but I do think that what gets Gunrunner beat on Saturday is probably one of two things. One is post position, that mile and an eighth at Gulfstream, where it's quick into that first turn, and we saw what happened with California Chrome last right. year. The other thing is probably pace scenario. Uh, I don't think it's the racetrack, uh, because Gunrunner has gone all over the place, and he always shows up. So I doubt that Gulfstream Park is going to be an issue for him. I think it's one of those two things. We'll find out on Wednesday about the post positions. Well, in this year's edition, as opposed to, to the inaugural last year when you had really a two-horse race, California Chrome and Arrogate, I think this year the contention goes a lot deeper of, of horses with a very legitimate chance. Of course, Gunrunner is going to be the heavy favorite. Collected has a chance to do it if he can get to the lead. The horse the Jorge Navarro trains named Sharp Azteca, winner of the Cigar Mile. A lot of questions about his getting the distance, but... He is as, he's as sharp as can be right now. And then Bob Baffert, the trainer of Collected, also has West Coast, the presumptive three-year-old champion of 2017, who really looked good over the weekend. Stay tuned throughout the week. It's coming up on Saturday, the $16 million Pegasus World Cup. Our News Minute is presented by Naira Betts. Bet any track, anywhere, anytime. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Naira Bets is the best play in online horse racing and betting. Bet from anywhere, anytime using your computer or mobile device. Earn valuable reward points on bets. Play in our exclusive promotions. Sign up now. NairaBets.com.